this scene is behind the scenes take number one. Picasso gets a bath. We already know he's not really keen on it. First we have to undress. Undress. Woo! Off to the side. And what about this? That was interesting. Let's try again. Look, you can sniff it. You can sniff it. Nothing's gonna happen. Look, what I'm gonna do? It's right here. See, nothing happens. Nothing happens. I'm just trying to get all that dirt off. If he has to appear as himself, or should it. I give him his name? It. Like Trigger, oh, Mr. You Ed. Dirt on you. Mr. Ed's name is Bamboo Hops. Oh, what a good boy. I'm not sure about Trigger. Trigger was part Arabian as well. Similar to, uh, quite similar to Picasso. Here a few tricks up his sleeve. Roy Rogers was the trainer. So maybe we can get that kind of thing going down. What's a female name for Roger? Oh, yeah, Butch Cassidy. What's that other one? Annie Oakland. Annie Oakland. I think I'd rather be a kind of Pocahontas character or Ayla from Valley of the Horses or Clan of the Cave Bear. My first inspiration was actually reading Valley of the Horses. That's what got me kick-started, reconnecting with that book. I had actually read Clan of the Cave Bear or and I really liked the different ways that the author dealt with the different ways that the mind worked in the Neanderthals and Homo sapiens and the inherent awarenesses of especially the body awareness of the Neanderthals being supposedly closer in their overall awareness to the animals amongst which they so primarily lived. So Ayla, a homo sapien, brought up by the Neanderthals, it was able to combine the innovative brain of the homo sapien with the primal awareness of body and cumulative memory mind of the Neanderthal. So in Valley of the Horses she eventually, after various other episodes, comes to bring up a young foal who she intuitively trains by the body awareness connectivity having such a finely tuned awareness of her own muscular movements for things like hunting, escaping from beasts of the wild, saber-toothed tigers and such. She was highly attuned to the fine movements of her horse, or the horse that she came to spend her life with. My goodness. So, this is a pretty amazing concept that, oh my goodness, Prince, what a little smart fella. Oh my goodness, I hid that food from him under the bucket. You naughty little boy. Should I say smart little boy? Smart little boy. Smart little boy. 
smart little boy. You are a smart little boy. <laughs> oh, you're all warm. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hi. How are you?